Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Pisces. Hey Pisces. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you. All right, let's get right into it guys. Let's see what's going on. What is your energy? What are you focused on? What's going on? Pisces. Pisces, what's going on with you currently, right now? I see what's going on there. However, where are you now? Hmm. Okay, we have something about the phoenix, something about a resurrection, a surrender to change. I feel like for some of you guys, you may have been kind of working against the grain. I don't necessarily want to change. There's this unwillingness to change, but it almost feels like you guys are being forced to make some kind of changes here with the Phoenix. You have to rise out of some sort of a situation. Sometimes we become, we become comfortable in situations because we found a way to navigate, because we found a way to tolerate, right? But you guys are being cautioned that you are going to move out of something. You're being forced to move out of it is what I'm feeling. But I feel like there was some acceptance, but the acceptance came at a time where you weren't in the best place. You're like, listen, my situation is bad. I'm going to learn to live in it. You know, like being content with my situation. I am content like that. Right. But I feel like you guys, um, you know, listen, glass half full when it comes to that, when you are in a bad place and you can find an area to be comfortable in it. Right. Yet fight to get out of it, of course. I feel like that's somebody with a lot of strength. I feel like you guys are being forced to have some sort of move here, like a movement, something like that. Give me one more, please. Uh, let's see. We have prison waif. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. This is self-sabotage. This is poverty. And this is also consciousness. For some of you guys, you may have been ignoring something. I feel like some of you guys are being forced to acknowledge something. You could have been ignoring something. Some of you guys are messing up opportunities for yourselves for whatever reason. Uh, I feel like some of you guys may have possibly had some offers and you're like, I'm going to turn this down. And I feel like for some of you guys, you turned down something that was really good, but I guess it was for a good reason, whatever that's about. Give me one more, please. Something about consciousness. Some of you guys, I don't know if you're coming out of the energy. I don't know if these are things that you need to focus on. Let's see. The keeper of the scales, fairness and balance. I think we're looking at areas of opportunity. I think we're looking at there needing to be some kind of movement. I also feel like for some of you guys, you're like, I'm not going to sabotage myself anymore. There's no more of that. For some of you guys, this is about you, a partnership. Uh, I also feel like for some of you guys, this is about you failing to move about in wisdom somehow, right? For some of you guys, I feel like there's some resentment here, whatever that's about. I feel like for some of you guys, this displays... Um, I don't know, neglect, I don't want to say neglect, but carelessness, I think is a better word. Now, I do see that with these two showing up here, you see the keeper of scales. I think you guys are recognizing that something may have not been fair. There could have been neglect towards yourself, neglect towards a situation, work partner, whatever this is about. But I feel like this energy is here. This is something about you guys failing to acknowledge something, express something. I feel like for some of you guys, you're in a place now where you want to make things fair. I want to balance the scales. I want to do my part or I want you to do your part or whatever, whatever that's about. Give me some more, please, for Pisces. The Shadow Queen. Let's see. Acquiring knowledge. Insecurity and also manipulation. Now, I feel like for some of you guys, this might have to do with you looking to get some sort of a new beginning in a situation, right? I feel like for some of you guys, this is you... Uh, actually taking some kind of leadership stance, right? Because we do see insecurity and we also see manipulation. Now, when we see insecurity, that could be one's feelings towards oneself. I feel insecure towards you. I don't feel like I live up to whoever I'm, I'm comparing myself to. But for some of you guys, insecurity is going to mean there's something here where you might have to, you know, There's a possibility for some of you guys that you have insecurity when it comes to finances, right? But what makes me think this insecurity and manipulation, so some of you guys could be holding on to something, hiding something, whatever this is about. All right, some of you guys, this is kind of like a Robin Peter to play Paul, pay Paul, but not really. Whatever that's about for you. I'm not going to go any further into that. Uh, let's take a look. Now, I see Pisces for you. I see that you guys have found some equal partner or... Your relationship is an equal partnership, right? For some of you guys, this is a new love, new potential. 
For some of you guys, you're taking your relationship with somebody to the next level. I feel like for some of you guys, again, this is equal balance and this is also equal distribution of power within a relationship, which is a great dynamic. So it's awesome that it's coming out for you. I also see here when this is about a career, there's something with a partnership that is mutually beneficial. Now, for some of you guys, you guys could be partnering with somebody in business. Some of you guys, this could be about a partner whenever you see two of cups. It's really just about two people coming together, right? Or some project coming together. It could be romantic love. It could be business partnership. For some of you guys, again, proposal of marriage. So some of you guys could be thinking of moving a relationship forward. I also see here that some of you guys feel like I am on top of the world, right? Now, this is a current feeling down here. I'm on top of the world. I feel like I can do any, anything, which is a great energy to have. It's an amazing energy to have. But the cards are saying that there's some success that's coming to you guys, but success is actually shared. Now, Pisces, for some of you guys, and I feel like this is all water energy. I haven't done Scorpio yet, so I'm sure, you know, this probably Scorpio will come out with the same thing because we kind of have the same thing with Cancer. You guys are being advised that there's some sort of success coming in for you. It is your time to feel better. It's your time to work on yourself. A lot of self-care, right? I feel like for some of you guys, this is really about... You guys need to understand that because success is shared, you are not to hold it over other people's heads. Like, I'm not supposed to, I'm not going to put too much power, abuse of power, right? We're not going to do that. We're going to be very fair. And I see that there's something working on you here with fairness and balance. Some of you guys are realizing that you may have not been fair before. And some of you guys are realizing, oh, I, that's something that I need to work on because I feel that. Uh, but I also see, I see a couple of things here, fairness acquiring something about acquiring knowledge you guys are looking into something insecurity for some of you guys you could simply be uh trying to find different ways of um i don't know generating i don't know finances cash whatever right so we also see here there's something with this right i feel like i feel like there's a lot going on where some of you guys might have these creative blocks and i feel like you guys keep thinking a lot here who do we have in here we actually have all the water signs so scorpio cancer pisces we have aries leo sagittarius and we have Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, right? That's all we see so far. Pretty much everybody. Oh, no, not really. Who we're not? We're missing Earth. So some of you guys could be having, dealing with any of these energies that we see here. Now, I also want to say too here, right? With the Knight of Swords reversed, there's this thing coming out. Where even though you guys are having some sort of success in something, I feel like there's something that plagues your mind. You still... Or have had, in some cases, based on what I'm reading, it could be the past. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been heightened anxiety, stress, things like that. I feel like for some of you guys, there's a lot of self-doubt. And that also displays down here in this card, the Shadow Queen, right? I'm recognizing some of the things that I need to work on. For some of you guys, this is about you being fair to yourself. For some of you guys, you want to change. You're like, I see this pattern in myself. I want to change it. And the pattern could simply be, I am neglecting myself. Maybe I'm not spending enough, enough time with this, 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 and this. But this sleepless nights that you guys were having or are having, I feel like there's because of self-doubt. Because you guys are worried about something. And this is making you guys not think clearly. If you can't sleep, you can't think. So I feel like some of you guys could have been sleep, not sleeping at night or something like that. But also, the cards are saying that if this has been your condition, there's a way out of it. And you're finding it right now. So we see that. Now, what also happens with you guys, Pisces, we see the seven of wands here, it is reversed. So you guys are struggling to take some kind of stand in something. I feel like there's something that you have to readjust, remanage or something like that with the security and also the manipulation. That's what we see here with manipulation. I feel like manipulation in some cases could be, yeah, uh, you know, I'm hiding this or I'm hiding that or I'm gaining knowledge to manipulate this or work my way around that for some of you guys i feel like this is survival but for some of you guys this is insecure this is insecure this is manipulation here right so there's something that you can cock in change and switching up it could simply be that so i don't want you guys to think it's just about one thing when we see manipulation manipulation also means moving things about again the only way to really equate that i don't want to say robin peter to pay paul but making things fit adjusting things where they're usually this way and now, out of nowhere, something switched up that way. Now, remember, Pisces was feeling really good over here. So something kind of stepped in and happened. All right. And I feel like whatever happened here, I think, I think it looks like this is where the insecurity comes on. So for some of you guys, this is truly about insecurity. I see some of you guys can't take a stand. Some of you guys are struggling to make a decision about something. 
Some of you guys are not wanting to rock the boat. Like, I don't want to upset status quo. I don't want to do this. I, and I feel like what comes out of it is your confidence is wavering. All right. But you guys are asking yourselves, do I have enough energy for this battle that's coming up? Because I think you guys see something coming. Right. And the thing is with this, you have to make something it has got to end. Right. You have to go through something so it ends so you can get to this next step here. So you guys are questioning yourselves. Do I have what it takes to get through this battle? All right. Uh, all right. So I'm going to just pull a couple of these and then I'll pull love because I feel like when I pull love, it just loses like, you know what I mean? The main thing for all I'm not saying that love is not a main thing, but I do love reads all the time. Uh, but when it comes to, you know, thinking some things out in one's head, I think that's really important. So whatever we can spark when it comes to thought, you know, because I mean, even if you guys are in some loving relationship or something, you know, there's some stuff you got to think about. All right. The good thing with you, it looks like you had some kind of support here. And to be honest with you guys, I don't necessarily think that this breakdown is about love. I feel like this is more business, project, personal, understanding I'm neglecting myself or something like that. Uh, give me another story for Pisces, please. What else? You are protected. You are safe within my bubble of light. You can proceed with confidence. And I feel like for some of you guys, again, this was an issue here with the self-sabotage. Here, let me point to that. Self-sabotage, consciousness, right? Poverty, I'm afraid. Give me more, please. Let me see. Let me make sure you guys can actually see these. I'm going to put them right there. Uh, give me one more, please, for Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know? This is a blessing in disguise. I think I kind of said that, guys. Be patient. And have faith that your angels have this situation under control. What will come is far better than you dared to dream. Ooh, I see it coming. But like I said, you got to go through something before you actually get to it. All right, give me more, please. Give me more, give me more, give me one more. I'm just going to take one more. Have no fear. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from it. The, uh, disquieting feelings holding you back disquieting feelings holding you back I look at that one again so you guys are being advised not to have any fear I feel like there's going to be a new beginning in something I feel like whatever this battle is that you're going through is designed to help you manifest where you need to be so as you go through it there's no need to have fear because you are going to get through it remember you're protected right but it is painful to go through but once you go through it, oh my goodness, what comes after that, right? So I feel like there's a lot of changes that need to happen with you, though. I think you guys are realizing a lot of things. I feel like there are a lot of revelations, a lot of clarity, something like that. Let me pull love. I know, right? Some people just show up for love. So I'm just, <laughs> give, me, uh, give me love, please, for Pisces. What's going on with Pisces and love? Please give me a story for them. Give me a story. Ooh, two. Let go of control issues. Some of you guys have been trying to hold on to some situation and control some kind of situation and you have to let it unfold. I feel like you guys are letting go. I feel like you guys are ready to move into that next space of, you know what, I accept this. It's time for me to get out of whatever I'm in and I need to move forward. But I understand that as I move forward, there's going to be some pain. But when I come out of it, let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. That could be an area of opportunity for you guys. We also see we also see retreat here. So some of you guys probably need to get away, step away from the world. Maybe this is a maybe you hadn't haven't haven't had an opportunity to go away somewhere, get away, something like that. This is about a retreat for some of you guys. This is about you dis you disconnecting from the world. For some of you guys, this is about you disconnecting from the world with your person. It's time to disconnect from the world. So some of you guys probably need to take a trip somewhere. Or go somewhere or something like that. Give me more, please. Give me more. Give me more for Pisces. Free yourself. Yep. Time to take back control of your life. That's all. Mm, I love it. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that. Let's see what else we have. All right, pull those. I'm going to pull just some of these maybe. And I think we're done. <laughs> Give me. Ooh. All right. I ain't asked my question, so I'm not going to pull it. But the science card did come up. Nice, you guys might have some signs coming up. Some things you need to pay attention to. Some things that are not coincidences. You're like, this is a coincidence. It's not. I don't believe. Me personally, I don't believe in coincidences. Listen, as little as yesterday, 
I heard something that took me back to, I don't even know what year it was. I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Is that, is that, is that that? Like that? Like that. I was like, oh, I knew it. I just couldn't. You know, just like that. Okay. Give me some uh, messages for Pisces. <laughs> Messages for Pisces, please, and then we're done. Reinvent yourself. Yep, a transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. Some of you guys are going to have this new beginning, and guess what's going to happen, right? So you know all the stuff that you went through, all that crap that you went through. Like, we all go through a bunch of stuff. But think of one, okay, within reason, like maybe a bad breakup or something. Think of a bad breakup, right? And then all these years later, it's like it never happened. I don't even remember you. I don't know you like that you're reinventing yourself you guys are transforming allowing yourselves to grow and this is where you start to see where the blessings come in right you're gonna be like whoa why didn't i change this a long time ago it probably wasn't meant to be at that time so oh we have surprise that came up and it came out upright surprise a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise i knew it an invitation could bring love to those searching. Some of you guys, this is about a new relationship for you. Give me one more, please. For Pisces, give me one more. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to do these again. All right, let's go. All right, go. Cool. Oh, look at that. Came out reverse. Tough and trying times. Tough times ahead. Think long term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. This card came out reversed. So you guys, the tough times are coming to an end. If you haven't gone through it yet, allow yourself to go through whatever you have to go through to get to this. Because this, this is gold at the end. This peace, this understanding that you get. And it looks like the tough times are going to be over. However, I feel like for some of you guys, you learned something from it, right? Because the cards are saying, remember, these cards just said to us, I am afraid to take a certain stance. I am afraid to do this and that. And it's because it was an interruption of flow with something that you typically do. So now that we know that there's an interruption of flow, now that we know, for instance, right? If we take this, this where I am, right? I'm down on the YouTube platform and... It feels like every other day <laughs> there's a rule change, right? So today I can say, I don't know, popcorn. And tomorrow I can only say corn. So you guys are finding this way to reinvent yourself. You guys are finding your new way of clearly defining how you're going to do something. How am I going to do this? And it's going to be great because it's going to exercise something within you. And you're like, wow, first of all, why didn't I do this before? And second of all, I didn't know I had this in my head. I didn't know that because I was so limited, I had to be creative. I had to give birth to something that was completely whatever that is. So I think you guys are doing a great job finding your way. I love this read. Ooh, I could cry. Not really, though. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Wait, I was supposed to pull something for you. I already did right there. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. I love you guys. Bye.